this is going to be the before before I fix this oh god look at my I have like three chins Ugh. <laughs> I oh god I just I'm a mess I started this new diet pill thing today my um, my grandpa actually bought it for me which just screams desperation I'm supposed to take like three a day or something and um, apparently you'll lose instantly and the fat will burn off and I'll be a supermodel by summer <laughs> I don't know I'm just kind of getting tired of looking at myself <laughs> I have plans tonight because if I didn't have plans tonight I would probably kill myself because I have just been sitting in my room doing nothing for the past three months so I have plans ish tonight I'm just going to a movie but I'm going to make it a point to look as good as I possibly can and so as stated before this is the before so this is I guess technically the after <laughs> Um. I don't know, I, to be honest, I just kind of forgot to film, but um, I went out with a really, really old friend tonight, and I haven't talked to her in probably, jeez, over a year. We haven't really hung out, but um, it was kind of really hard. There's a lot going on in my life right now, and... The reason I'm doing these videos, I guess, is because I want to look back on it one day, like at this uh, part of my life, and I want to be proud of myself for, you know, trying to overcome this tough time and trying to, you know, get my life back in order. Because maybe if it happens one day, I'll get to see the process of it, you know, succeeding. But, um,. Things are just really, really bad right now. I've never been this miserable. And I hate saying that. I hate admitting it because I sound so pathetic. Um, this guy that I lived with, and I mean, I spent every single day for two years with him. I'm completely in love with him. He moved an hour away from me. He just suddenly told me one day. And that's what just started so much bullshit. Everything just started falling apart. And, I mean, it happened so fast. And uh, while he was packing, my grandma got really sick. And we had to put her in the hospital. And my grandma is my mom. I mean, she raised me. I grew up with her. She taught me everything I know. She's just the most wonderful person in the world and um he was great he went to the hospital with me just everything was fine and uh he moved and she died and I went to Minnesota for a while to visit some family and uh, it was just it was hard as soon as I got there I spent almost two weeks there and he just stopped talking to me out of nowhere, you know? I mean, I was in a place that I've never been before with people that I didn't know. I was scared. I was so sad. You know, I just lost my mom. I'm 21. You're not supposed to lose your mom when you're 21, you know? And, uh, he just wouldn't talk to me. And I begged him to talk to me. I begged him. And, uh, when I got home, he, I told him I was home. I guess I just hoped, you know, I was wrong. And he, he talked to me immediately and he told me he just wanted me to focus on things there. And, you know, he was trying to adjust and things like that. And, uh, I went to go see him and I was so upset because I just couldn't believe he left me alone like that, you know? Anyway, um, I went to go see him. And it ended up being this, like, big, huge ordeal. And I, I was so mad at him. I, I just I was so mad that he left me alone in that. And, uh, he apologized. And he told me he would never do it again. And, uh, 
I thought he meant it. He hugged me. He told me he missed me. It seemed like it was going to be okay. We went to Comic Con that weekend, and less than a week later, he stopped talking to me again, just out of nowhere. And, uh, it's been over a month since I've talked to him. And I feel like I am going to die. I don't mean to sound so pathetic, you know, but I mean, you get used to somebody. You get used to that comfort that you find with somebody. And he was my best friend. He was my everything. My whole world revolved around him. And I don't mean to make that sound so cliche, but it's like true. And I thought I meant more to him than this. I'm, I'm just... I'm trying to tell myself that maybe something, maybe something, maybe. But anyway, the friend I hung out with tonight, um, she used to hang out with us a really long time ago, so long ago, and we started talking about old times, and I was telling her what was going on, and all of these memories started coming back from the happiest time of my life, when... I saw him when I was still a part of him, when he was still part of me, when I still told things to my grandma, when things seemed so hopeful. I've never been that happy before, and I will never be that happy again. So that's just what's happening right now in my life. I'm going through losing my mom, and I'm going through the biggest heartbreak of my entire life. I don't know what to do. I feel so lost. I miss him so much. I feel, I still feel my grandma with me. So that's good, but geez, this is so hard. And so I tuck myself into bed and I'm just kind of feeling sorry for myself, which is not good, but I guess every once in a while Everyone just kind of needs to feel lousy and let themselves feel lousy. Because you can only try so hard for so long, you know? And then you just kind of need a breakdown point. But anyway. I gotta go to work tomorrow. And that's it. I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna do with the rest of my life. So stay tuned for that.